Hello everyone, in this video I will be installing Splunk 7.1 on a Windows server. So the Splunk software can be downloaded from the Splunk website and it's available for free. So this is the trial and downloads page from where I can select the free download and then download the respective version that I need. So Splunk is supported on Windows Server 2012 onwards so we can't install the latest version of Splunk on Windows Server 2008 or 2008 R2. So I, I have already got this software downloaded and I'm inside the server. So I just have uh, transferred the files here. But before I can start with the installation, uh, one thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to add the service account to the local administrator on this particular server because we are going to configure the Splunk installation with a service account. So for this I need to go to compmgmt.msc on this I need to go to local users and group and in the groups I need to go into the administrator and I need to add the particular service account this is my Splunk service account and I'm just going to add it as a local administrator. Once I'm done with this, I can go ahead and start with the installation. So I'm going to right click on the Windows installer and click install. So there's a license agreement page. If I want, I can just check on the license, read everything and then click on OK. I have to uh, tick this checkbox and here I get the customize options if I don't uh, do any customization then by default Splunk gets installed in the C program file Splunk folder but as a best practice it's better to install Splunk in the first directory this will help when we are going to do further activities with Splunk from the CLI so I'm selecting the D drive and Splunk folder uh, so th this is will be my home directory for Splunk. So I'll click next. So I get two options. One is for local system and uh, another is for domain account. Uh, I'm going to install with the domain account. So I'll click next. So this is where I, I have to specify the account, the domain account. And I just added the Splunk service account to the local administrator group on the server so I'll provide the same account and its credentials here so create st start menu shortcut so there's a if I want I can have it or I can just leave it So I'm done with installation. I will now launch the Splunk Enterprise. Um, I'm going to launch it in Internet Explorer because I, do, I don't have any other browser at this moment. But it is better to launch Splunk in latest compatible web browsers like Google Chrome or Firefox. So the URL to get into the Splunk web is localhost with the port number 8000. If I'm accessing this link from out outside of the server then it will be the server name or the IP address of the server along with the 8000 port. I just have to make sure that connectivity is allowed from outside of the server. So first time when I log in the default username will be uh, admin and password will be change me and once I sign in I can change the admin password or else what I can do is that I can later on simply remove the admin account and create some other administrative account for better security or as per the security principles that exist in every environment so 
this is the launching page of Splunk which comes after logging into the Splunk for the first time so here I, I can add data and there are other options I can go to settings and uh, here there is access control so I can create other users with appropriate permissions and all the options are here so from here on I can go ahead and do further drill down in Splunk.